Okay, so the last 10 minutes have passed. Now it's time to open the canner. And we'll see how we do here. Um, just carefully turning it so the arrows meet up again. And carefully lifting the pan off. Just to not let the steam burn my hands. I did get my finger a little bit. And I'm going to use my trusty tool here, the jar lifter, to pull them out. Okay, so I have some floating, but that's okay. A lot of times you have um, solids um, separating from the liquid. And... Um, it's totally fine. It's not going to um, create a problem for the preservation of the food at all. It just doesn't look very nice. But what I like to do is, um, once this has set for 24 hours, I'll invert it a couple of times so it, it'll just remix. And um, always looks pretty. Once I've done that, I can actually show you one that uh, I canned a couple of months ago. That looks really good. And when you pressure can, it does take longer for the tops to pop. So this may sit here for a few minutes before we hear anything. But that looks good to me. I have a tiny bit of siphoning. It's not bad. And you can actually hear them. Yep, oh, I just heard one pop. Here, get you a little closer there. Maybe I can uh, take the camera off of the tripod and see if we can watch one seal. Here you can see the separation, but there's n nothing unsafe about that. So one of them has sealed so far. Let me just go grab that one that I canned a couple months ago. I'll show you how that looks. inverted that a couple of times so it's mixed through again. I just heard another pop. They're not very loud. It's fine. As long as they're sealed, that's all you're going to care about. So once these are all sat for 24 hours, you don't want to touch them during that time. You don't want to start shaking them up or anything. That could uh, create a problem with the seal. So once the 24 hours has passed, we're going to remove the, rem the rings, wash the outside of the jar. I like to label the lid that will tell what's in it and the date. And uh, store it without the rings on. The reason is uh, humidity can get stuck underneath these rings and cause rusting. And I don't know if you can hear that squealing. Just the last little bit of air escaping before it seals. So there you have it. It's pressure canned tomatoes.